we all were waiting for God to shake the earth. But here it says, we do. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. There are those who forge ahead, applying effort to things that others may find insignificant or meaningless, but they've applied themselves there. And by doing so, make breakthroughs. Mm -hmm. Breakthroughs that affect not only those people that have broken through, but everyone else, even though they were naysayers at one time. And those who do this, forge ahead, make breakthroughs, stand in places that others never did and others never could. Does this make sense? Yes. They look different. They sound different. They are different. They've come to a different place. Say a different place. Different place. Their work changes society. Whether they like it or not, those changes have been made and you can never go back. Well, I am one of them but I don't go here alone I have many who go with me and that's good second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit we've come to know this that now in the earth today the Lord is that spirit the Holy Ghost where the spirit of the Lord is or where he is Lord there is something liberty and there's a liberty there where he is known as Lord that you can't have some other place I'm testifying to it there's a liberty here that I didn't have over there so we have obtained here in this society a liberty that others have not yet obtained verse 18 but we all say we all. we all this isn't just a southern message we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of that Lord mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. are changed into the same image from glory to another glory mm -hmm. even as by the Spirit of the Lord or who the, the Spirit who is Lord mm -hmm. each glory obtained creates a new reality to live in that we first live in it and then others follow say we first live in it, we first live in it. And, others follow. and others follow now the word glory in the Greek is from the word doxa means splendor and it's the Greek equivalent of the Hebrew word which is kabod and kabod yes means glory and splendor but it mean it carries weight literally to be heavy in intrinsic worth so this glory is heavy that's my point here it's weighty so when you go from one glory to the next glory you gain weight <laughs> In a, in a good way all scriptures have weight all scriptures contain the glory of God it's in there mm -hmm. all scriptures have weight well how much weight featherweight lightweight what do you suppose how much weight is there in each verse of scripture there would be an eternal weight to it 
immovable weight something you can't move you can't pick it up it's too heavy mm -hmm. but you understand there's weight in these scriptures immovable eternal weight think like a mountain are mountains heavy mm -hmm. especially the big ones mm -hmm. I would suggest the small ones are pretty heavy yeah. by the way this is a heavy message mm -hmm. mountains are heavy we climb one out here Katahdin right you ever climb up that thing it's ridiculous the size of rocks rock after rock after boulder after boulder stacked up on top of each other until you know until you don't want to climb anymore mm -hmm. heavy and each one of those rocks is very heavy are you getting this I'm trying to, to give you a scale of weight in the natural each scripture contains a weight that isn't just natural weight it's supernatural eternal weightiness it's heavy stuff well in their day and in our day you don't get much heavier than a mountain do you no. so if you wanted to use an illustration about something being heavy you'd say that's heavy and if you wanted to give an illustration about something not being movable you'd go that's not movable mm -hmm. and even eternal you would look at a mountain you go it's so heavy it's so immovable it will be there for as long as the earth is here mm -hmm. it's there it's eternal right so we're talking about glory that's in the word that has weight to it what kind of weight eternal immovable Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God for it is he that gives thee power to get wealth is there any intrinsic value in that verse of Scripture yes there's glory in that verse of scripture actually glory and intrinsic value that will reproduce itself in your life mm -hmm. Psalms 112 verse 3 wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endures forever is there weight in that verse of scripture mm -hmm. there was weight in the other verse of scripture there's weight in this verse of scripture how much weight eternal immovable weight these scriptures are both sides of the same mountain both of these verses of scripture that talk about God giving you power to get wealth and wealth and riches being in your house have weight and they're both part listen they're both part of the same mountain imagine a mountain made out of gold what would that be worth would that be heavy yeah. what type of economy could you base on that certainly enough for you but it would also affect the rest of society and the rest of society's economy mm -hmm. did you get that first Peter 2 24 says by Jesus stripes I was healed is there any weight in that is there any glory in that Psalms 107 20 says he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions Psalms 103 verse 5 says he renews my youth all the listen all these are different sides of the same mountain mm -hmm. a mountain of healing a mountain of health a mountain of youth renewal say a mountain, a mountain. of youth renewal. youth renewal give me that mountain say give me, give me that, that mountain. mountain who's that remind you of Caleb remember Caleb in Joshua chapter 14 and verse 7 this is Caleb speaking 40 years old was I when Moses the servant of the Lord sent me to espy out the land how old was he 40. 
and i brought him word again as it was in my heart do you remember this the spies went out to see the land and all the other ones came back except joshua and caleb the, all of the other ones came back with an evil report saying we can't go in there they're too strong for us mm -hmm. but joshua and caleb they said ah this is nothing we can take them mm -hmm. remember this yes. he was 40 years old at the time when he came back and said that and Moses swear on that day saying surely the land whereon thy feet hath trodden shall be thine inheritance done verse 10 and now behold the Lord hath kept me alive as he said these forty and five years even since the Lord spake this word while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness and now lo I am this day fourscore and five years old how old is he now 85. 85 85 where were the other people they weren't there around anymore they died in the wilderness but not Caleb verse 11 and yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me as my strength was then even so is my strength now for war both to go out and to come in therefore give me this mountain I call this the 85 40 principle <laughs> he was 85 years old but he still had the strength of being a 40 year old scriptures mm -hmm. so whatever age you are divide it in half and a little bit more that's what age you could be walking in and should be listen you should be walking in that age now and taking mountains mm -hmm. your good report will make you older and more successful than everyone else you will live longer and younger than everyone else and be more successful it was just the beginning for Caleb at 85 years of age youth renewal scriptures I read a couple of them there's glory in those scriptures a mountain of glory in those scriptures give me that mountain second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 13 we have the same spirit of faith according as it is written we have the same spirit of faith according as it is written where did we get the spirit of faith from it's as it was written you can't have faith outside of as it is written that's where it came from yes. so we have the same spirit of faith according as it is written I believed and therefore have I spoken the spies that went into the land they didn't believe they came back and said we can't do it according as it is written I believed and therefore have I spoken say I spoken I have spoken I have spoken scriptural am I preaching out of the Bible yeah. I believed and therefore have spoke have I spoken we also believe and therefore speak I am of those who believe and speak mm -hmm. say it I'm of those, I'm of those who, believe who believe and speak, and speak. what does that get you it gets you the mountain yeah. it takes you to the mountain it takes you up the mountain I'm going up the mountain, going up the mountain. And, I'm and I'm taking it how many people aren't doing that oh a whole bunch of them there are crowds of them they sit down at the bottom of the mountain jeer at you you can't do that no you can't do it because you won't say it so up there at verse first 13 again we have the same spirit of faith according as it is written I believe and therefore speak we also believe and therefore speak right verse 17 for our light affliction which is but for a moment 
what is the light affliction it's making yourself say the word that you believe when it doesn't look like it are you here mm -hmm. our light affliction which is but for a moment works for us this works for us say this works for me this works for me this works for me criticize all you want this works and it works for me our light affliction which is but for a moment works for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory what's it work for you a far more and exceeding eternal weight of glory I think it's pretty good verse 18 while we look not at the things which are seen that's the light affliction he's describing it now while we look not at the things which are seen you ever have to do that mm -hmm. while you're speaking the word you're looking at mm, <laughs> looks like it's not working mm -hmm. for the things which are seen are temporary the things which are not seen are eternal they have an eternal weight they have an eternal glory they have an eternal presence and you can carry that weight you can carry that eternity you can carry that presence with you how did you get that way according as it is written I believed and spoke I believe and spoke I believed and spoke and I believed and I spoke and I believed climbing the mountain going up it says this works for us this light affliction forging ahead forging anew where others have not gone works for us an exceeding and eternal weight of glory the things which are seen are temporary mm -hmm. it's all temporary it can change just like that but the things which are not seen yet are eternal they don't change every time you open up this word says the same thing mm -hmm. didn't change I change it didn't when does God stop renewing your youth when that scripture changes <laughs> he doesn't stop renewing your youth the 85 40 principle when does that when does that change never are you here it's eternal it's not subject to change your situation or your age is is subject to change the sickness is subject to change into what the Word of God healing the lack is subject to change into what the Word of God God making you wealth and riches being in your house mm -hmm give me that mountain the righteousness of faith speaks what saith it the word you climb up on this mountain of righteousness by saying and when you do unrighteousness relaxes it just relaxes it's like when a light comes on and the darkness dissipates you thought the darkness was such a big deal it wasn't it just went away say so it just went away it becomes not a thing it becomes a non thing say non thing that's what it becomes doesn't even have a real name anymore it's a non thing the unrighteous mountain melts away as if it never existed before and you forget about it speaking what the word says this is the new manifestation of the spirit joel chapter 2 verse 2 a day of darkness and of gloominess mm -hmm. sounds like the news a day of darkness and of gloominess a day of clouds and of thick darkness as the morning spread upon the mountains a great people 
and a strong there has not been ever the like neither shall any more after it be even to the years of many generations verse 3 a fire devours before them and behind them a flame burns the land is as the garden of eden before them and behind them a desolate wilderness yea and nothing shall escape them who are we talking about this people this strong people this great people yeah. say a strong people a, strong people. a great, people. great people not a whiny people people that have god's belief and word in their mouths mm -hmm. are you here yeah. go down to verse 5 like the noise of chariots on the what tops of mountains shall they leap where are they they're on the tops of mountains how'd they get up there they climbed up there do you remember what we started out talking about mm -hmm. the scriptures having mountainous glory in them eternal weightiness like a mountain mm -hmm. these people that are strong like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains shall they leap still talking about these people mm -hmm. a great people verse 10 the earth shall quake before them the heavens shall tremble the sun and the moon shall be dark and the stars shall withdraw their shining the lord shall utter his voice before his army it says they run on the tops of mountains they leap and the earth quakes before them we all were waiting for God to shake the earth but here it says we do mountains have weight mountains take up space mountains cause clouds to form a cloud that comes upon the mountain like a blanket that covers you he is in that cloud looking out there are many mountains but it's the same cloud are you here mm -hmm. holy ghost i thank you i worship you in jesus name the people have heard these words this evening and their lives will never be the same greatness shall come forth out of those who've heard says the spirit lord for they have now heard words that will take them farther beyond from where they've been in the past and to the future forging a new path in the earth greatness awaits for my people in the earth but few have been too scared to take hold of it but not you says the spirit lord you shall rise up and grab on to these things and it will become easier and easier for you as you go higher and higher and higher and the days shall be extended well beyond your normal years and we shall see the greatness of the lord god holy ghost in the land of the living in our day and we worship you for it holy ghost in jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost you are the spirit lord your glory is beginning to cover the earth and i am part of that glorious covering i worship you in jesus name amen the father is in heaven jesus at his right hand holy ghost your god